Hi everyone, Garland Coulson here from Captain Time, and today I'm going to have a look at Airtable, which is an amazing new tool that I've been using uh, that allows me to do some incredible stuff, it allows me to create even some of my own, own productivity tools. So overall, this is an Airtable. This is what I have open here. And you see there's kind of a description of this particular one here, but it looks pretty much like a spreadsheet, and that's essentially what it is is its base. So you can you can name you know each of the uh, columns, and then you can add add the content of the different areas. The really cool thing about Airtable compared to say using just a standard online spreadsheet though, is you can customize the field type. So when you have this field, you can then actually change it to a different type. You can be single line text, long text, attachments checkboxes, multiple selections, single select, a collaborator, date, phone number, email, URL, numbers, currency, percentage, formulas, uh, roll-ups, counts, lookups, the created time, an auto number, or a barcode. So this becomes more than a spreadsheet. It's also a spreadsheet and a database. And as you can see, it can even handle graphics as well right in the grid. So when we're looking at each of these, you can see how nicely laid out it is, how easy it is. I can just you know add a new add a new uh, book in here if I want, and so on. And I I can go through and add them. You know whether I bought it or not, and whether I've read. And then you can give it you know your personal ratings. So this is just one that's been set up as a book catalog. You notice up here they've got tabs. So they have one for books, and then one's set up by author. So you've got you know you can and you can add another tab if you want you can create an empty one right there and then start adding in whatever field you want so an amazing amazing system it does everything a spreadsheet does but it does also what a database does now there's some cool things about this too is you can share it uh, so you can share it to invite people by email or invite them by link. You can control what level can they read only, edit only, or do you want to give them full creator access to co-create it with you. So very powerful, easy to create and easy to share. You can also embed this right into websites, uh, which is, I find an incredibly powerful tool. I've got lots of plans for that feature, uh, let me tell you. So that's an example of one. Here's an example of another one. This is a launch calendar. And these are, by the way, from templates that they already have. So you can see here in a launch calendar, they've got a little more detail, a little more information. And the grid can go across further as well. Now you might say, well, it's not kind of that useful to actually have it go all the way across. But one cool thing you can do with it is you just double click on here and it opens up the entire uh, thing that you're looking at so you can work in it this way as well so you can see for each individual record you can call it up you can filter this you can um, by a number of different ways you know by any of the fields you can sort it again you know from A to Z you can do lookups uh, there's as I say an incredibly uh, powerful uh, tools with this I like how when they when you're choosing who's the market, you know, who's the lead on this, uh, they can color code the different options for you. And again, it's really easy to add another one. If I just want to add somebody to the marketing lead, I go customize field type, go, you know, and I can add Bob. And then I can choose a color for Bob. And there we go. And then Bob's also now an option. So if I want to give that to Bob instead, I can give that to Bob. So an amazing system. Now, if you when you want to do a new one, I'll just go here and I choose I'll choose a brand new base. And they've got a ton of options here. They've got uh, you know, indie film production, planning a novel, event planning, uh, you know, pet medical history. They've got stuff for managing your soccer club, job recruiting, employment directory, time tracker, legal case tracking. There's just a huge number. There's there's ones here to manage your projects. There's a lot of project trackers and things like that in here. So this is a huge, huge system. And you can see what's great is they've actually embedded these right in their websites. So you can see how well doesn't it, doesn't the embed work great? That you know you can actually look at the you know, the the individual things even when you're when you're not a you know uh, not a member not signed in. Uh, the embedding looks looks absolutely stunning there. 
And as I say, a huge number of templates. What I love is I can customize this for anything. Uh, if, if like me, you've gotten frustrated when you're working with a lot of these productivity tools because they almost do what you want. They're kind of like 80, 90% of the way there, but then that's one thing they can't do or you wish you could customize a field. Well, this gives you that option to be able to customize all that. Pricing's awesome. Uh, they're free for unlimited bases and you can have 1200 records in a base for unlimited. So for free, that's a lot to have. Two gig attachments and two weeks of revision history. And of course you get more as you as you pay more, but even their pro plans are not particularly, uh, are not particularly expensive. So that's uh, my review of Airtable. It's a lovely, lovely tool. Um, it's one I use myself personally for many different things. I'm also using it more and more for my clients. Many of my clients need something like an editorial calendar or something thrown together quickly. And first off, there's templates for editorial calendars right in here, but there's there's a ton of, you know, I can create really anything they want uh, right from within the system. So I hope you've enjoyed this, this Airtable review. Uh, if you have, please, please share it with others. Thanks for listening.